Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another Quant Prize Prediction Update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Quant chart which at the time of this recording has made a low at around the $130.9 mark and is gearing up and has managed to break above a key area of resistance at around the $133.2 mark and at the time of this recording we are trying to battle out the 20 day MA which is now acting as resistance. We have also continued to obey the ADO2 structures where we have fully maximized our target areas to the lower side in the formation of this larger ADO12 count too. And I now believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3. And before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets to the upside in the formation of that wave 3, first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the 4 hour chart by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening where you can see that after seeing the all-time high quant started the bear market where we had been seeing no prices in this ABC corrective structure in a move that gave us a low at around the $40.1 mark and after seeing the bear market low we started this massive bounce to the upside in a move that has been obeying the ADO12 structures where you can see that I have this ADO12 structure in blue having the W5 giving us a peak at around the $229 mark and also completing the formation of that larger ADO12 count 1 to the upside and after seeing the formation of a larger ADO12 count 1 we started started this corrective structure in the formation of this larger ADO12 count 2 in a move that has now given us a low at around the $94.4 mark and after seeing the low for that higher ADO12 count 2 whatever we expect on the long term scenarios is that massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 and sketching out minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave, that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $408 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that higher ADO wave count 3 to the upside to do and in the formation of that wave 3 which is an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave 3 and that is because of its impulsive nature and here on the charts you can see that after making our low in the formation of that that second wave we saw this one to set up to the to the upper side and after seeing the one to set up we started this idea of structure where you can see that I'm terming that is the first wave to the upside giving us a peak at around the 165.5 dollar mark and after seeing the high for that wave one we started this corrective structure in the formation of this wave two and using the Fibonacci is connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one that gave me a minimum retestment area in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 which lies between the $133.7 mark and the $126.1 mark which is a target area that we have now fully maximized and I now believe that whatever we are seeing is the start of this massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and sketching out minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $230 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave 3 to the upside to do and in the formation of that wave 3 which is an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave 3 which is a micro wave within the formation of that wave 3 where I'm expecting the formation of that wave 5 to fully maximize our target areas and also fully maximize the formation of that higher ADO wave count 3 to the upside and I believe we are seeing such a scenario over here and if I zoom in so that we can see that better you can see that after making our low in the formation of that higher ADO wave count 2 we saw that bounce to the upside giving us a peak at around the $148.1 mark in what I'm terming is the high for that first wave then after seeing the high for that wave 1 we started this corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 and using the Fibonacci is connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gave me a minimum retestment area between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 and that is initially that was my target area but the moment we managed to lose the FIB level 0 0.618, I had to extend my target area back to the FIB level 0 0.78. And you can see that we have now fully maximized that target area by retracing back to the FIB level 0 0.78, where Quant has continued 
to hold above and this is still a valid second wave to the lower side and after seeing the formation of this wave 2 whatever I'm expecting next is the start of this massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 so sketching out minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 using the trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 165 dollar mark and once we see the high for that wave 3 then we can expect a wave 4 and then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave 5 and for us to get into the formation of this wave 3 there are key moves that I'm expecting to play out over here and the very first one is that I need to see a break above the 20 day MA and the moment we manage to break above the 20 day MA have the support that we need for us to continue gearing up I'm also expecting to see a break above the wave 1 high at around the 148.1 dollar mark and the moment we manage to break above that then that will be enough confirmation that we are getting into the formation of this wave 3 and also manage to break above a key area of resistance at around the 147.9 dollar mark and once that happens then we can expect a retest and once the retest is in and a success then we can continue pushing even higher to fully maximize our target area at around the 165 dollar mark in the formation of that wave 3 so there are key areas that we also need to continue holding above and that is above the key support zone at around the 133.2 dollar mark which at the time of this recording we have managed to uh, break above and we are holding above it we need to continue watching that key area of support and also our next key area of resistance at around the 147.9 dollar mark and for those that are interested in trade signals where in my previous trade I gave this trade uh, which was a sell from the area at around the 148.1 dollar mark to around the 133.2 dollar mark and if I give you a measure from that point you can see that the market was down by 9.89% which is a very nice trade and right now I'm also giving another trade to the upper side in the formation of these wave 3 so if you're interested in such trade signals make sure that you contact me using the link in the description box on my telegram so that I can give you instructions on how you are going to join my paid uh, trade signal group so that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios continue watching those key areas of support and resistances and also continue expecting higher prices in the formation of that with three and also taking a look at the indicators here on the RSI we are trading at around the 48 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of that with three also taking a look at the MACD we are just about to print a bullish cross because you can see we have seen a sharp decrease in the selling momentum here on the MACD meaning soon we are just about to print that bullish cross to fully support higher prices in the formation of that with three so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated